What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a RPN calculator. That is a reverse Polish notation calculator. That's what RPN stands for. Right here is the RPN calculator, this nice big one. And right here is just a regular calculator. And we're going to go through some of the differences and why it's even worth using one of these. Now to start off, the reason why it's worth using one of these are calculators is because they're very handy for longer equations and harder equations with lots of parentheses. Um, they work through problems very easily and it's very natural once you get used to it. And with a normal calculator you may not even be able to do the type of problems you can with these and we'll get to that more later. So let's first start with the sample problem. How do you do 5 plus 6? It seems pretty trivial but if you look over here there's no equal sign. Yeah, how do you do that? So on a normal calculator, you would do 5 plus 6 equal 11. So how we did that is we did entered our first number, then we entered an operation, plus sign in this case, and then the second number, and then we said do that operation. Now an RPN calculator, it works similarly, except you enter the two numbers first, and then you enter them onto what's called a stack, and then you do, the, you do an operation on two stacks. So I'm gonna be so this is how it would work. You push five, that enters it to this first stack. Now I want to move this to the second stack and put six to the first stack so I can add them together. So I click this enter key. Now five is now in the second stack. You can think of it almost like a row of shelves. This goes up a row, and I click six. Six is uh, below five, and if I add them together, that's like saying five plus six, and we get eleven. That's how that works. Now let's get to more some more complex um, problems. So let's say we want to do 5 plus 15 plus 10. We'd first put 5, first number on the shelf, we push enter, and then we push 15, and then we can add these together by pushing plus, and now we get 20. And now we want to add 10. Now 20 to move it up the shelf, you may think we push enter again, so we can put 10, but because we just did an operation, this is already entered for us. So we're just going to click 10, and 20 moves up the shelf, and we're just going to push plus, and it adds that together. Now there's an, that's one way to do that with an RPN calculator. Another way is you can push 5, enter, move this up a shelf, then we push 15, enter, and this moves this up another shelf, then we push 10, and right now there's Think of it as three shelves, 5, 15, 10, and for the first one, 15 and 10, we're going to add them together, we get 25, then we're going to add 25 and 5 together, push to 5 again, and we get 30. So if that's starting to make more sense, they're like a stack and you do operations on them. So the next problem we're going to do is 8 times 5 divided by 6. So we're going to hit, int. we're going to type in 18. We're going to enter that, and then we're going to push 5, and we want to, we want to multiply these together this time, so we're going to hit multiply. Now we want to divide by 6, so we don't need to hit enter because it's already added to the shelf. We push 6, and then we divide, and we get 15 as our answer. So that works really nicely. So let's do another one. Say 12, enter. We're going to add 19 to this, so we say 19, and then we're going to add. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. We want to do 44 minus 7, and then we're going to divide that by 31. 31 divided by what? 44 minus 7 equals. So what we do first is we first do 44 minus 7, then we're going to hit divide key. And what we're going to do is kind of float this on top. And so you'll see what I mean by that. We'll hit 44. We're going to enter this key. So right now, the 30 number is on the very top, now 44, and now 7, and I'm going to subtract 7 from 44 by hitting minus, and now I just want to divide those numbers, and we get this nice decimal. Now let's get to, uh, that's pretty much how an RPN calculator works, so let's get to a harder problem. So, get to an ex exponent, so how you'll do this is you'll Add the numbers together, so this is the first number, enter, I'm going to add it to 157, and then we'll just hit this. 
pretty easy, and that uh, squares it. So this problem is purposely um, hard and difficult, and I challenge you to use a regular calculator to try to do this problem and see if you can come up with the answer. And this is a particular equation where an RPN calculator shines, because as you can see, there's all these parentheses, and it's really gross. Well, with an RPN calculator, there are no parentheses, and it's really easy to do this type of problem. Well, not really easy, but easier. So let's go ahead and do this problem. So I'm going to say, start over here. We're going to say 19, enter. We're going to put it to the fourth power, so 4. And then we get this number. I'm going to add 6, so 6. Add it to that. And then we want to subtract this number by what this equals right here. So we're going to start with 12. We want to subtract that by 3 to the 6 power. So we're going to say 3 enter 6 to that power. So we just took 3 to 6 power. Then we're going to subtract it from 12. Get that. Then we're going to multiply this times 9. 9 times. And then we're going to subtract it from the number that we got right here. So say subtract. And we get this number right here. Now we want to square it. And we get this huge number right here. Now we want to divide by this number. So we're just going to float this number, do this operation, and then divide. So we're going to say 2, enter, 9, add those together. Then we want to put this to the fifth power, negative 5 power. So we're just going to type in 5. And to make a number negative on this calculator, you just click on the number. And then you put that to that power. And now we're just going to divide. And we get this huge number. And that's the answer. So that's how RPM calculators work. They take a little bit to get used to. The stack can be kind of confusing. But just go ahead, try some practice problems on your own, and you'll get used to it. Now, the calculator I used here is called Stack Calculator. I made it, and it's on the Amazon App Store and the Android App Store, or the Google Play Store. This is only for Android phones. Sorry, guys. I don't know uh, how to put it on the iPhone Store yet. So... If you guys want to see this, I'll link this in the show notes below so you can download it. And I just want to say thank you for watching.